The government has made a decision to divide war veterans' pensions into segments, one linked to the time spent on active duty and the other to time spent in civilian employment. The move is a result of an effort to satisfy one of the demands put forth by a group of disgruntled war veterans. Labor and Pension System Minister Miranda Mursic said this categorization will have no effect on the level of pensions, rather it will serve to recognize the work service veterans had before their participation in Croatia's homeland war in the early 1990s. Speaking for Croatian Radio this morning, Economic Affairs Minister Ivan Verdoljak spoke about the ongoing dispute between the Croatian government and Hungarian petroleum corporation MOL over Croatia's national oil and gas company INA, in which MOL has a controlling share. MOL has filed suit against Croatia in Washington, D.C., alleging that Croatia has not observed its contractual obligations and wants its legal costs reimbursed. Verdoljak pointed out that MOL wants to collect funds that were secured through the corruption of former Prime Minister Ivo Sanader, who was convicted for illegal legal dealings with Mol. A summit between the prime ministers from East and Central European countries and the Chinese prime minister, Li Keqiang, is currently underway in Belgrade. The Chinese delegation is presenting projects for this part of Europe worth about $10 billion. Although the Croatian prime minister is not attending, Transportation and Infrastructure Minister Sinisha Haidash Doncic and Foreign Minister Vesna Pusic are there to try to secure part of these potential investments for Croatia. Pusic pointed out that such cooperation is a vital interest for Croatia. The welfare shop in Karlovac opened exactly one year ago, and so far it has more than met its initial expectations by providing the most needy citizens with over 2,000 care packages. And it is no longer simply pensioners, the chronically ill or homeless who need the food and sanitary supplies provided by the shop. Rather, even those not deemed statistically needy come. The shop's shelves are filled by donation drives, but many private individuals also bring in what they can, from food to children's clothing, because every day something is needed. The 100th anniversary of the death of famed Croatian composer Ivan Zaitz was marked in Zagreb last night with a big event, the premiere performance of his virtually forgotten operetta, Boys on the Boat. It tells the story of two young lovers who have to deal with parental disapproval as well as intrigues. The performance was held in the small scene theater in cooperation with the Music Academy. In sports, the final matches of the Group 2 second round in the European Women's Handball Championship, being hosted by Croatia and Hungary, were played in Zagreb's arena. Defending European champions Montenegro defeated the Netherlands 37-27. Sweden defeated Slovakia 31-22, while Germany and France played to a 24-24 draw. The tournament's semi-finalists will be decided in today's matches. And finally, the weather forecast for the rest of the day. Precipitation is expected to gradually drop off in the west and northwest, and skies may clear up partially. Overcast skies with scattered rainfall will persist in the east and in southern Dalmatia, where there is also a chance of thunder showers. Winds will be light inland while moderate, and at places strong bore winds will blow on the northern and central Adriatic coast. The sea will be moderately to mostly choppy, while precipitation will cut down visibility. Today's high temperatures will range from 5 to 9 degrees Celsius inland and from 13 to 16 degrees on the coast. Over the next few days, skies will be partially to mostly sunny in the interior with brief morning fog. Mornings will also be rather crisp and temperatures will rise substantially on Friday and Saturday due to southerly winds. Mostly sunny and relatively warm conditions will prevail on the Adriatic seaboard in the coming days. Bora winds will abate tomorrow and moderate northwesterly winds will blow thereafter. Moderately overcast skies on Saturday may bring some light rainfall.